All right. So we're going to talk about, damn, this is actually a touchy subject. It can be a triggering subject, especially if you have gone through trauma in that region. It is uh, one that is so blocking for us. And it's also one of the most powerful, powerful ways that we can express ourselves and manifest in the world. It is, as a woman, it is our creative source, period. It is where you own yourself. It's also where you surrender fully to spirit and, and to expression and, and, and beauty. I began um, studying our relationship with orgasm and our relationship with sexuality and the female's relationship with sexuality in my 20s. I had cervical cancer. I had um, years of sexual abuse as a child and a pretty extremely traumatic experience at the age of 11. And I was stuck and locked down. My body was reacting, my mindset. I was doing different things. I wasn't being very respectful or loving of my body. I didn't know how to be. I didn't know what I didn't know. And so when I got through the cancer, I, I went on a search. I stopped being bulimic. I stopped um, overusing substances. Not that I, I later found out I didn't do it too much, um, but I, I definitely was no saint in that matter, and I, I just stopped though. It was like time to really, really love my body, and when doing that, um, the first place that I decided that I was going to look where I knew for fact that I was broken, that where, where the pain stemmed from was um, sexual trauma, so I went and I looked at having a relationship with with my sexuality and what came out of it was just a lot of beauty and I spent 20 years really calling myself home in this area so I can bring this information to you I really is something that I touch privately with my private clients I don't teach it too publicly I've thought a couple times to go public and this is probably the most public that I've gone but this is what I've learned okay this is what I've learned when we go through trauma, and again, it doesn't have to be sexual trauma. When we go through trauma, we go into survival mode, and our reproductive system shuts down. We also shut down our feeling receptors, and if we've gone through sexual trauma especially, we can block out feeling down there totally. And I'm sorry if this is going to trigger anybody, but I also hope that it brings some light to it. If you went through sexual trauma and um, the person said that you enjoyed it or you felt ashamed because maybe you had an orgasm or you felt like you liked it um, at certain points, but you knew, you knew inside like this wasn't supposed to be happening. Um, a natural reaction to save yourself from doing that again and to stop it from happening would be to just shut down sensor receptivity just shut down. It is a survival mechanism. And so we turn that off. And in doing so, we also turn off manifestation and our power to create and creativity. And we shut down our natural femininity, which um, puts us really into a mind racing. So it's hard for us to relax. We get very masculine in the sense that we work, 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 and do, do, do. And we can throw off our hormones and a whole bunch of other things begin to happen. It's the domino effect. So bringing this back into play and allowing yourself to open up to your own feeling receptors and your own sexuality and your own sensuality is key, is key to healing, no matter what kind of trauma that you went through, if your body went this way. Now, there are five different ways that you can orgasm. So I want to explain that fun with you and you can play with this yourself. And then I'll also explain to you a little piece of heaven um, that I found 
and ways that you can utilize it in order to just begin exploring this relationship with yourself. So the first way that we orgasm is clitoral. Most women, even after um, going through trauma, can orgasm this way. It's the fastest and the most furious, right? There and done, but it's there. It's possible. The second is the G spot within you, and it lasts a little bit longer, can be a little bit more fun, um, but still needs direct stimulation. Once those two start getting going, though, you can reach the third, which is right above the G spot. And, and kind of back near your um, cervical lining. And it is where you start getting those rolls, those, those multiple orgasms. From there, you can go into a full body orgasm. You might have experienced it. Sometimes the hips shake, you can feel it in your toes curl, your head starts vibrating, your lips starts vibrating, and you're like <laughs> Right? This is like ultimate manifestation <laughs> zone. And the fifth is that total release. And this is more, I find it personally, more like a masculine release, what they must feel. Because instead of buzzing the entire world into existence, it's like a <sighs> and trust. And um, you actually ejaculate, right? Um, and and then you feel this relief and it can be quite heavenly. Uh, it's, it's a state of peace, euphoria. Um, when that happens. So those are the five levels of orgasm. And yes, the first two um, take stimulation. The others can happen. They don't necessarily need the stimulation to happen at first, but the others can happen quite naturally and on your own. So I want to share um, something that over the years has really helped me and um, gave me a full different perspective on orgasm. When I started studying orgasm, I studied what the welcomed consensus, and now they call it oming. Um, and, and it was basically that clitoral stimulation that you, you focused on, right? And it was somebody else without any intention of sex, with clothing on and very safe environment, stimulating that area and you receiving pleasure. So the first thing that I'd recommend is for you to allow yourself to experience pleasure, whether that's taking a bath in rosemary, it doesn't have to be um, masturbation, but taking a bath, oh, I'm gonna dance party, or um, feeling, feeling that peace within you, uh, just receiving pleasure, smelling a flower, um, tapping into your feminine essence and receiving pleasure, that's gonna awaken your, your sexuality. Allowing things, um, beautiful flowers, scents, smell, your fingers, whatever, your man, to um, without penetration, stimulate, feeling in your lips and wake up um, that expression within you. Um, doing Kegels and just like Whoa, waking that up is very powerful to, to just start bringing feeling back into that area and, and associating it with safety and pleasure. Second phase is this little dandy um, thing I have here. It's called a jade egg or a, I have red jade. Um, but a jade egg or um, a yoni egg, they also call it that. You want to make sure that you're getting actual stone, that it's not man-made. Um, you want to actually, I, I prefer the jade, the actual jade. It can be red or green, um, just because it's not porous. Um, they usually come in threes. You'll have a little one, a, this one, and a bigger one, depending on what um <clears throat> what size you want um the difference between this and anything is this is not going to stimulate you're not going to go in and out like like you normally would but what this is going to do is allow you to actually invite this into you it can take quite a bit of time when you first start this practice and i go through it with my with my clients my private clients um and I'm thinking about doing a mini group class around it too. So if that's interesting to you, interested to you, let me know.
so I can get people signed up and then I'll do it. Um, however, what you do is you actually invite it in through a meditation practice, a breathing practice. And then you can do different exercises to strengthen the walls of the pelvis. Then the stone itself has healing properties in it and that energy really activates you within. Um, and then it comes out because gravity, gravity takes it out. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this with a practiced um, practitioner at first so you can learn how to do it. I mean, not with them, but you know, have them guide you. I'm sure that you can find information um, on the web. And of course, if you go through my amazing you program, um, either or in the group or privately, we will cover this because it's so beautiful to reclaim your power and to reclaim your healing. It does at times release the memories associated with your cells and so it gives you ability to heal those. So knowing how to process the mental um, belief systems and images that come up so you don't grasp onto them again and let them go is really important. So then again, I recommend having a really good coach that knows how to work in the mindset and emotional realms as well as the spiritual realm to help you heal that completely so it doesn't reattach or, and you're not re-triggered. However, this can also open you up to all five layers of, of orgasm and ultimate pleasure for, for you and your beloved. And that's that. I hope that you have enjoyed this course. The next step that you want to take, um, well, there's two really that you can take, is um, join the You Matter Club, as I stated, and, and the why. Um, hopefully you watched the segment on autoimmune diseases and why we go through that. The next is set up a call with me privately. There's a link below to get onto my calendar and set up a call with me privately and we'll discuss your next step. Um, if you were just seeking to really reclaim this power zone, the zone of your body, and there's not much else going on, then my Nourish You program and working privately with me through that might be an ideal fit. If you um, are looking to really reclaim your entire life and there's more uh, trauma that you want to get through and different patterns in your relationships and your mindset and you want to make more money and your purpose and this and that and everything, you want to do it all together, that's my amazing you program. And there's different levels that I work with people. So please make that next step appointment with me right now before you forget. And let's let's join. If you're like, I know for a fact that I want to work with this woman and I want to be on her private roster list, then go ahead and go to my page for the Amazing You program and let's get started. Talk to you soon. Bye.